Hey guys, Tao here, and uh, before we start this video, just want to make a quick little announcement. I know this is like uh, the third <laughs> Battles episode that starts with 99, so should probably let you know that next Battles episode up will be 100. Um, just what's been uh, setting me back on uh, filming that has been, um, well, the, uh, the um, issues with the game. Like... I've gone in quick battles, and over half my battles were just at, like, half the speed, and it's just ridiculous. I, I don't, the video's gonna be long enough. I don't want it to be any longer because of, well, slow games. Those will just tire me out, and it's not fun. I'm gonna wait until they fix that problem until I actually film the episode. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry it has to be that way, guys, but luckily I do have a couple things I've saved up ahead of time, so these will be going up. So, enjoy the episode, guys. See ya. Hello everybody, Tower Aaron's Rock 50 here, and welcome back to Balloon Steady Battles. We're gonna be doing some more of this gameplay and stuff. I believe this is episode like uh what 22 or no 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 99 point something. Something. Yeah, 99 point something. I don't even know what this uh, something is. I have yet to decide, but not episode 100 yet. Um I'm uh, still I, I have a little bit of time to record right now, but not an, a a ton of time. Not enough time to get episode 100 in. Just a little spoiler there for you guys right there. So, uh, yeah. Episode 100 might be something kind of long. I don't know. But anyways, what am I doing this episode? You see, saw me get a kind of weird tower choice. But don't worry, guys. It'll all make sense shortly. So, I, this is basically a continuation of the last episode. I haven't uploaded yet, but I'm pretty sure you guys, you know... I uh, thought the idea was kind of decent, and also there's a couple more towers that I actually want to do this for. Get uh, just one big head honcho and then a bunch of extra support towers and somehow it could work out maybe. I don't know, I want to try that. So anyways, we were playing on Temple and this guy, I, he seemed new, yes, he didn't play that many games, but he did a good, w good win loss record. So I mean, maybe he knows what he's doing. But he got for one for a zero three boom ranger first, so that cost him a couple lives. Plus, he's getting no economy right now, so that's kind of hurting. Although he should be sending out economy balloons, I don't know why he's not sending economy balloons. But whatever, it happens. So yes, he has two three boom rangers, so he's he's safe for now. I guess if he wants to be safe, then okay. Safety. Ooh, perfect. I don't know how I've been managing this, but I've been able to stall just exactly one red balloon every single uh, round. Just allow me to get that extra eco that I need. Ooh, pinks. He is sending pinks. I'm just going to be aiming my darling gun down this line. And yeah, I picked darling gun because for this map temple, this is kind of a straightaway. Th this just jaggedy area is really, really nice for a darling gun. So I use it. So, whoa, 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 you have a 2-3 boomeranger and a ninja, and also I should be sending out blues, not reds. Whoopsies. That, that was a huge accident, but he is a ninja monkey. You don't see those every day. What is, why? <laughs> ninja monkey, why? Huh. I don't know how about that. Yeah, ninja monkey, I, he really doesn't need it. You would think the, uh, the 2-3 uh, boomeranger could carry him through round, uh, 4 and 5, but, I mean, if he feels he needs a ninja... All right, not that big a deal. But uh, yeah, I about the uh, 99 point some decimals. I'm not gonna be doing this for too much longer. I'm actually gonna be getting, you know, some official episode 100 up eventually, sometime shortly. It's just gonna fall like at the same time of, oh dang it, as a three th or five thousand. It's not gonna replace the five thousand special. It's just gonna fall at the same time. So it's gonna be like something super special. At least that's why I hope. So anyways, now he's sending black balloons. We'll see if they overwhelm my darling at all. He seems to be doing all right. But my economy, I might as well cut it now. I'm probably going to want to have a laser cannon. Since this guy's pretty experienced, I have no doubt he knows how to send like a rainbow rush or something like that. So I'm going to be aiming my darling down here for now. Get you, real quick. Just a bit of extra popping power, and I can't upgrade you at all, unfortunately. But hopefully he should be enough. Oh, maybe I'll get a second one or something. Then I can start saving for a laser cannon. But yeah, he has only sent out kill balloons so far. He sent out pinks, he sent out blacks. I mean, granted, at the level he's been playing at, those are what would win him games. Yeah, the most important part about playing it, you know, early on is just sending kill balloons. Pinks and blacks. Oops. Oh, whatever. I didn't care too much about lives. Just four of them. Darling guns do pretty nicely on uh, Temple. Oh, do a little stalling here. Oh, dang it, that didn't work out as planned. Oh, well, but now he has a mortar. What is that? 2-2 two, two mortar? Aiming up there, so I guess it'll begin. Oh, no, that is not camo detection right there, guys. That is a 3-2 mortar. Holy bejeebus. You do not see those every day. What the heck? 
yeah, you really never see a 3-2 mortar. You only see, like, a signal flare. But maybe he's going for, like, a 4-2 mortar or something. That'd be pretty sweet. I would love to see one of those in action. I used to have a strategy where I legitimately used 4-2 uh, mortars on uh, Rally. Because those things are actually pretty good against, like, cleaning up ceramics from BFBs and ZOMGs and stuff. That's what I used them for. They were really good. So now he's sending out white balloons. But, yeah, also, this is Temple. You're not affording a uh, big one on Temple. You need camo detection, my friend. You definitely should have gotten the other path for the mortar. You're just being cray-cray right now. I'm going to probably kill him with either a camo rush or a rainbow rush, but I do want to see how these dartlings, am dartlings, <laughs> laser cannon, will do against, you know, all this, uh, all any rainbow rush you could send. He's been sending mainly kill balloons, so I'm expecting a rainbow rush. Well, I mean, here's the thing. I have laser cannon, though. He knows I have laser cannon. Maybe I should have hit it a bit better. Oh, no, he's going for the rush, all right. And that was actually a pretty small rush, and uh, we have literally aided that pretty darn easily just with all these uh, dartling guns we have here. Main popping power is in the laser cannon, but the others definitely helped out. So I want to get my dartling a 3-2 so I can pop these leads that come over here, and then maybe I can finish them off with, I don't know, do I want to go? Oh, no, no. Camos. Duh. Camo regrows. What is this? Uh, yeah, I don't even know the hotkey for some of these. Anyways, though, these camo uh, regrows are going to finish him off. His ninjas uh, just aren't enough. I think that should be enough to kill him. Not quite sure. Yeah, it's, it's got to add up. That'll be a... Wait for it. GG! Bleh! <laughs> yeah, there we go. So, Dartling Guns, that went off well. However, that was only two groups of regrow rainbows he sent. Nothing, nothing really too special or anything like that. Um, but yeah, oh, Moon Slayer 43, I've heard of you. But uh, now we are choosing a different tower. What tower are we choosing this time? How about the Monkey Ace? Whoop, whoop. Yeah, Monkey Ace. I actually really, really do want to try this out just to see. Because Monkey Ace has a lot of popping power. Then also Operation Dart Storm kicks a ton of butt. Oh, shoot. Crap. I wanted a mortar. I, I, I wanted a mortar for... Uh, dang it. I'm going to have to find something else that has a lead poppage. What else did I pick in my uh, random towers? Um, glue gunner. Okay, I'll, I'll just get a glue gunner and put him on strong if he sends like massive amounts of leads. Otherwise, I'll uh, maybe hope my pineapples you know, will hit. Shoot, I completely forgot about the mortar. Durr. You know, I'm... Even like a, just a zero zero mortar, or zero zero bomb or something would have been great to have. Anyways, monkeys, they're definitely a very, very inaccurate right now. So, oh shoot, I did not press that at the right time. Whatever. So yeah, zero zero monkey ace for right now. I'll probably just get two of them before I start sending out eco balloons or anything like that. Just two of them, one at one zero and the other at zero zero. Hopefully that should be enough to clean up for now. And what path am I going to choose? Will I choose Operation Dark Storm or uh, Never Miss Starts? That's a good question because Never Miss Starts will be more helpful early on than, say, just spamming aces. But Operation Dark Storm will also help out in the later game with Rainbow Rushes and stuff because I don't feel that uh, these uh, monkey aces will be enough without Operation Dart Storm to deal with the Rainbow Rush. So I was here, I'm trying to get them on different paths. Yes, like when they come around here, they're on different sides, just like that. There we go. One's on one side and the other's on the other. So I'm going to really send him only kill balloons because I need my monies. All right, just a bunch of pinks right here. Maybe I'm, I'm just hoping like that his Boomeranger spot sucks or something. I don't know. That's what I'm hoping for. So I'm just sending him, forcing him to buy more stuff, I guess. I suppose, but everything helps. Anything and everything helps. So, I'm not going to do any crazy sell action. Like, I wish I could, say, get a 3-2 uh, 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 ace first, then go to, uh, then sell it for a 2-3 eventually. But no, I'm going to do it the manly way. I'm going straight to a 2-3, or at least a 1-3 first. So, let's see, this is my upgraded guy. I'll get him to 1-2 already. Yeah, because that's how we roll. I got three monkey aces. Pinks would so rape me right now. It wouldn't even be funny. But he's not sending any pinks, which is which is good. All right. Blue, blue. Yeah, he's only sending blue blooms. I guess he's just going hardcore economy. He really wants the economy. Pinks and blacks, they give the same amount of economy. They just do it a ton slower, and that's why people don't do it. Oh, you know what? I could just easily sell these, too. One more economy blue, so I'd be able to sell these for an Operation Darkstorm, which would own everything so do i do it 
I do it if I have to. But for now, black balloons. I'm going to spam those. See if I can get any lives on him here. I feel eventually the boomeranger won't be able to be chasing the balloons. I think he messed up the spot too. He probably wants them to the thing to loop around back over here. And that would max my hoppage. And it's not a bad idea. But now he's a ricochet. So he lost 20 lives there. All right. That's good. But maybe I'll end up buying an Operation Dart Storm if he's, like, saving up for Rig or Yellow Rush or something like that. I'm going to quick buy it. Make him waste money. But no, he's buying everything just super early. I have no idea why. He's getting everything early. He's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Maybe Rick is, is mean he's scared or something like that. I, I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. Sharper darts for you. Operation Dart Storm whenever. So, yeah, forgive me, guys, if I'm using the uh, Seaman Shooter to get the uh, lead balloons. It, it just might have to be done. Anyways, nothing. Nothing at all. Hello? Anything? Well, let's just get more uh, monkey aces then. At least zero zeros. I want to be able to buy the Operation Dart Storm you know, when I feel like it. And the Operation Dart Storm will be the, my only tower that detects camo. You know, even if I did plan on getting the mortar, I would not have gotten up the single flare, signal flare just because that's a bit unfair. I would have gotten it to like one zero, and that's it. And wow, he has his round 13 defense already. And I'm just sitting here on 350 economy. Maybe I should get a little bit more. Oops. Let's, uh, yeah, let's not drop below uh, 3,000 just in case. Whatever, here's the round of the leads. Oh, oh, okay. So he's sending me some regros now. I should probably take care of them. Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, so th this is required. You on strong. Yeah, this this will take care of them all. And honestly, I mean, these darts and the glue could be a really nice combo. However, camo regrows. Camo regrows are my main weakness right now. If I see he does that, I probably might even sell the glue for a 0-2 dartling or something. Just because I... Oh, wait, yeah, duh, camo leads. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I actually would have had to get my mortar up to something better. Anyways, though, let's get this dartling as soon as possible. Um, as soon as poppable. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, there we go. Just the zero to dartling. Again, I'm sorry, guys. The ace is the main popping power. I'm doing as little with the uh, dartling as possible. He's just deciding to be a giant douchebag and just sending leads. I see how it is. Mr. Balloon Slayer 43. Oh, more leads over here. Focus these down. Uh, yeah, I would have liked to go with the glue gunner, but maybe actually it would have helped too much. Not quite sure. Ooh, Rigoro Ceramics. So if there's like anything other than leads, I'm going to not aim at them with my dartling, just to be fair. So, I'm going to save up a little bit more money. Or actually, no. Aw, oh, dang it. I should have done it earlier. Ah, he, now he has two, two, three boom rangers. Now he's safe. I could go for a mortar exploit, but those are expensive. You can't exactly do mortar exploits when you're low on, say, money. <laughs> low on, uh, what you might call it, eh, uh, do, uh, money, money. Anyways, more un monkey aces are required. I require more monkey aces. Yes. You want to be really freaking sick if I somehow got a ground zero. Like, I sell everything, and boom, ground zero. I may have to do that if, I don't know, he sends, like, Moabs or something. Because, really, my main weakness is Moabs. Here's the thing, something I learned uh, a while ago, that if you have just, uh, if your opponent has just two Moab Mars, send them, like, two or three uh, uh, regrow Moabs, and that will be enough to kill them, surprisingly. Like, if they have this kind of Boomerager defense, especially if the Bionic Boomers are in the front like this. Yeah, he's really, really weak to a regrow Moab Rush. I'm going to send two of them at him. See if that's enough. I might even sell my Dartling Gun. Or no, I'll sell... Oh, well, no, I'm going to sell my Dartling Gun since that's the most, you know, out of, uh, out of uniform tower right here. So I'm going to sell you and then send you two. All right, so let's see if this is enough kill to kill him. Let's see if this actually works. See if I can send out a third one. Why not? Get him going right here. So anyways, he has only one more mo. Look how long it takes him to pop those ceramics. They're only down to this now. Now the, now the mo maulers have to catch up to a second mob. He's down to 36. 12 lives, 6 lives. That is going to be the end of him right here, guys. See? G a G. <laughs> so that actually worked out. I told you guys. So yeah, don't be lazy on round 18. I have noticed in so many games People have just been lazy on round 18. Like, um, Spike Factory def defense, like if they're going for Spike Storm, their main weakness is round 18, uh, a Moab and ceramic, ceramic combo. Oh, damn it. I know you too, and I'm we're on this map. So you know what? Since we're on this map, I think it's best that we go boat only. And it's a phone call, but I don't even have the phone nearby. One second, let me see if I can figure out who this is from.
whatever, I'm recording. I'll say I was in the bathroom or something. I don't know. <laughs> My bad. No, yeah, I have no idea where the phone is, though. I I'm looking for it. I can hear it ringing, but... Hey, ooh, of course I ran into you while I'm getting a challenge. This guy, this guy actually has a legitimate uh, strategy. So, let's see. I'm going to see if I do this right. I got to copy this right. I got this. <laughs> yeah, boat strategy. I forget how he does it, though, so I'm going to have to copy him for a bit. I know he gets to destroy early on. Here, I want. Okay, so let's see. What is that? Okay, so 2 0. And what? Okay, so he's actually sending a bit of kill balloons. They're calling back still. So I'm going to I'm gonna have to call them back really soon. So let's see. How is he? Oh, is, he gets a second boat. Okay. So I'm going to have to maybe aim him on first or something. Aim them both on first? <laughs> this is not going as planned. Hmm... Hmm. Yeah, so this guy has a legitimately really, really good strategy for Hydro Dam. Less micro and all that stuff. And, you know, it gets some... His mid-game defense is a little bit weak, but it's a really solid strategy, in my opinion. I like it. It's a good variation. Watch how he does it, not me, because I have hardly any idea what I'm doing. Well, I mean, I have some idea. We both got the Destroyer, so I, I assume we got this. He uses farms, though, if I remember correctly. He uses farms. I'm going balloon economy. He uses farms, so farm rainbow rush is probably going to be the end of me, unless I can figure out some way to get him early on, but really his strategy is not bend early on. I'm still sticking with my strategy, though. I'm not going to go over to his, because I feel I've done some things that make my strategy a bit more flexible that I haven't exactly revealed yet. I want to keep it secret right now for maybe King of the Hill matches and that kind of thing. Don't exactly want to reveal it yet, but this is going to be last game, and it's probably going to end up in a lost. Yep, there we go. I was just talking about that. But yeah, he's going farms. And farms are definitely a very, very good way to go on Hydro. Um, considering it's a short map, farms are amazing. The only problem is that surviving on Hydro with three towers is tough. It's easier to do on the left side because you boomers will work out well there. But on the right side, not so much. <laughs> I got the crappy side. Granted, I'm going boats only. But, I mean, whatever. So, I mean, this guy... Alright. Okay, so he can he could send out greens. Greens are actually the weakest in my boat right now, but the good news is he's not sending any because he's going farms. So I'm gonna hurt him. Greens are his main weakness because this guy doesn't have that much popping power. Will he have enough though? So yeah, he's going boomers. In case you couldn't tell. Boomer Rangers. I'm gonna save up two economies worth of uh, greens and or I don't know, man. I don't know, <laughs> to be completely honest. I'm actually a little bit scared right now of, say, Regro Yellow. So let's uh, let's get boat spamming, shall we? Yeah, let, let's get a boat spamming. Well, GG. No, please. Stop it right now. No. 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 Don't be that guy. Damn you. <laughs> Damn it. Why do you have to be that guy? Why? 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 <laughs> Those are micro yellows. Too many boats just can't handle them. Should I have gotten the mortar earlier? Oh no, no, that's, that's against. That's kind of against the little rules I made or whatever. Maybe I should have gone for can ship. I don't know. I, I didn't think about that through enough. But whatever. That, that was a weird random ep episode. Uh, end to the episode. We did good. We did good. We got through three solid towers, and I hope you all enjoyed. I bet I could do this for almost all the towers. There's some that I wouldn't exactly want to do, say Village Farm, Spike Factory. I wouldn't want to do any of those. Or Ice Tower, because that, that's called Douchebaggery. But, uh, yeah, so that's going to be about it. Thanks all of you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. More Battles episodes coming soon. Maybe not now, I have some stuff to do now, but sometime in the future. So, catch you all later. Peace.